Hello community, in this poll primer we're going to be discussing why memory matters in the new generation of the V. Computers store information in many different places, some temporary and some long term. But when we're talking about memory, we're usually referring to random access memory, or RAM. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So what does RAM actually do? When you boot up your computer or open a program, the necessary data stored on your hard drive or SSD is loaded into memory. Even compared to SSDs, RAM is fast, allowing you to view and modify your work quickly. More RAM allows you to run more demanding programs or have many different apps running at once, known as multitasking. And if you run out of available memory, your CPU will need to get its information straight from the storage drive, which slows everything down. RAM is volatile memory, so if the power turns off before you save, you will lose your work. That doesn't mean more memory is always better. It is also relatively expensive, so if you're not going to multitask or run demanding apps, why pay for more? Back in 2016, we asked, is more memory better or just more empty space? We decided that four gigabytes of RAM was too limiting, even for an entry level device. And so the old V came with a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM. For more demanding users, we offered a 16 gigabyte option. That's the maximum amount that our CPU could support. But times change, and we'd like to see if our old conclusions still apply to our next generation device. Okay, let's say you're a student that wants a new EV for emails, coursework, internet browsing, and Netflix. You may be able to get by with eight gigabytes of RAM, but what if you have other apps running in the background? You may be chatting on Discord, keep a billion tabs open in Chrome for your assignment, and listen to Spotify while you work. Doing many things at once can make your device use more RAM than you think. Why? Because Chrome is a massive memory hog. As a photographer or digital artist, you'll make use of complex programs like Photoshop or Lightroom, which use more RAM than your average office apps. The files you use will also be bigger, especially when working at high resolutions. Being strict with the apps you open can limit your memory usage, but having extra RAM would be more practical. That way you can choose the workflow that's best for you, instead of what works best for your computer. Content creators working with large video files will also be happy with every extra bit of RAM they can get, and some scientific applications analyze datasets so complex that they can never get enough memory. Whether you're a student or power user, having more memory available may improve the performance and shelf life of your device, allowing you to step into more demanding tasks in the future. But if you're not gonna use it, it's just an extra cost that brings you no real value. An eight gigabyte model may be great for casual users who don't require the extra memory, but we don't wanna cripple our device by being stingy with the specs. On the high end, most devices in the current two-in-1 market even the premium ones are limited to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Offering an option with more memory could help us stand out against the competition, but it could also make our device needlessly expensive. That's it for this poll primer on memory. Now the rest is up to you. Do you think eight gigabytes of RAM is still enough for an entry level device in 2020? Is there any benefit to offering a 32 gigabyte model? Cast your votes below and leave a comment to let us know more about your specific use case.